what up boys and girls king demps here and uh yeah i felt like i did my boy elige a little bit dirty uh with that video on one of the worst games that's probably ever going to be on hl tv 0.06 rating absolute disaster so i decided to you know in my infinite benevolence to do elige's best game from pro league after this round after this round it gets good i promise all right we'll just uh speed through the round that, that last one got me so hot under the collar yeah there we go good job quick easy win from liquid that last round got me so hot under the collar i had to take my jumper off i'm in t-shirt now oh at least getting his head blown off immediately but yeah i just thought i've i've shown Elise's worst moment down in the dumps you know <laughs> 1.06 rating every time man it makes me laugh every time i think about it so yeah let's see him do a good rating oh here we go damal has no chance my boy elise is gonna hunt him down yep he's seen his toesies he's seen his toesies oh i'm surprised he didn't just jump yeah there you go there we go already doing better than the last demo i watched it's funny as well that it's on dust 2 again but it just goes to show you, it's not like it's not like Elise is a bad Dust 2 player or anything like that. Yeah, I was going to say, just get rid of that. Get rid of that shite. So, uh, yep. Yeah, pretty chiller. Liquid just chilling out in a standard D2 round. Mid control. A lurker B. Someone keeping control outside long doors. Godsend have kind of fallen back into kind of an A gamble stack. So, actually, they're kind of set up relatively well for what Liquid are about to do. If Liquid do decide to come up short, which I think they're going to. Oh no, might be going for a B split. Yeah, it looks like they're going to go for a B split actually. So fair enough, good call from Liquid. Deciding to instead switch this up into a B split. They killed the guy lower tunnels, so... I guess it's not unreasonable to expect that that was probably a B player or a mid player, so... The side of the defense that's likely to be weak is likely to be the B defense. So, good call, good read from Liquid. We're not going to dwell too much on this one. Is Elish going to get any more? He might get some more frags here. He's definitely going to hunt. Yeah, there's one. Oh, go on, Elish. Go on, one more, baby. One more, baby. Farm them. Farm those eeks. Yes, jumping shot. No, Naf. Can't believe it. Naf, man. Naf just ruining it. My boy Elise, did you not see? He was on. He was on one. He was farming. Nice quick one off the spawn. Obviously a Brucey bonus round because Elise still has his Mac Daddy. Yep, he's going to get that one. Good job. In the smoke. Might get another here. Yeah, nice. Just using that pace. Keeping Godsend feeling uncomfortable. And this should be around... Oh, actually, no, I didn't see Liquid had lost shots towards middle on his Lurk. So that's not ideal. Nitro finds Henny, though, at the car. Henny was kind of stuck with no support there. Once his two mates die at long, Henny is kind of stranded at car there. Ideally, you'd like to not end up at car. You'd like to run all the way back to CT, but yeah, Henny, Henny is just kind of stranded um, once his teammates die there. So the problem with that long commit of sending like three long at the start of the round is if you lose that fight, the round is probably... Uh, it's going to be rough at least. I mean, having said that, Godsent have got themselves into a 2v2 where there's like no HP at all on the other members. What are Liquid thinking of here? I guess Nitro just went to look for the backstab briefly. Okay, they've taken enough time that Godsent have doubted themselves and gone... I don't know if I do this if I'm Godsent. I don't think I split 1-1 one, one here. I think that's probably the best way to lose this round. I don't know if they know about the damage confirmed on Liquid. Yeah. Fortunately, the Mal was in a really solid one and done. Good job from Elige. But like I say, splitting 1-1 one and one allows Liquid the chance to get the trade, yeah. Whereas I think staying both of you guys on long there, I think is the better call. I know that Godsend maybe didn't have the damage confirmed, but I, I don't, uh, yeah, I just don't like splitting one and one there. I don't think there's any need to, like, just group up, stay together. I guess Damal just didn't want to leave Car, and then, yeah, was it, was it Bartan who was with him? 
I guess was just like, yeah, we're just going to have to leave you, car. Right, so my boy Elig is... <laughs> oh, God's sake. It's so annoying doing a POV review when, when the guy you're POVing is just like boosting your AWP or whatever. So Liquid are losing the battle out long. Are they going to get any more? Liquid is... Elige does this a lot when Liquid do the like four out long. Elige will be the uh, catwalk guy. Godsend. Okay, so he's throwing the money, so Godsend at least. Okay, Godsend have decided to fight long. So he threw the molly, so Godsend knew there was a, a catwalk slash short player. Now he's just looking for rotations, but Godsend have just doubled down on their long hold. Then they probably win this fight. Oh, they're not going to, maybe? I know this is kind of boring watching Elige, but, you know, uh, we're, we're Elige POVing, so. Yeah, this round probably doesn't happen for Liquid. Um... A good reroute, though, to fall back into going up short. Obviously, Elige has taken that control. So now God sent are going to go for a retake with the fact they've hung on to long control. This is still a rough round for Liquid because they only have short control. So this should still be... A and Nitro is down on three. Yeah, this should be rough. Liquid need a kill. Need to isolate a kill pretty quickly, I think. Oh, who's playing far back on long? Penny should be getting closer here. He's playing way too far back on long here. Yeah, I'm be honest. Yeah, it's all good. Henny was playing too far back, I think, there. I think he needed to get a bit closer. But uh, it's okay. God sent secure that retake. Yeah, it's just really hard for Liquid there. They did well to get the bomb down with that reroute onto short. Just say, uh, Elige saying, hey, guys, like, there was no kind of resistance here. Um, but the fact that they had no control of anything else, all they had was short control, it's always going to be rough. The retake's going to come from, like, two angles without really any contest like you know when godsend have all of that long control with no contest yeah the retake's always going to come in there uh so elise has had like a good start he's playing pretty well um he's finding frags he's opening stuff up for liquid he made that round possible he also likes his scout down mid does elise on dust too Seen that from, from the last POV. Hopefully I'll have, <laughs> have more success on it this uh, this game. But yeah, just a fairly standard dust two round, mid control. No even lurks from Liquid, obviously, because they got uh, crap weaponry. So they're just going to group up in a big old death ball. And they're just going to try and explode out middle. They have a smoke on shocks, but they're not... I'd be surprised if they didn't... Okay, so they're just going to try and get every little extra inch of map control that they can. They're going to throw a mid B lurk smoke, like a fakey, fakey boy. And then try and come out short. This is actually a good play. It's isolated a jewel here at long. Yeah, they're going to get the bomb down here. They're going to be able to get the bomb down. Shox has died in middle, but that's fine. OC needs to be ready to get that bomb down. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, again, nice nice play from Liquid, actually. They're playing a much better Dust 2 here than they were... I mean, it's early on, but I'm already preferring this Dust 2. It's already felt a little bit more dynamic, like they've had a, a few more different looks. Good shot from Elige. Wait, did he just... Was Henny must have been tagged. I didn't see, cause, but Elige killed him with a chest shot there. Ooh. Yeah, it's a good round from Liquid. They got two guns out of hands. If Nitro gets one more, nah. That, I mean, that's a good good eco. Um, two guns out of hands, forcing some rebuys. Godsend aren't able to really get their economy like rolling, rolling. And Liquid get a very nice buy in the next. Like, they actually have more money right now. Obviously, they have to buy, but they actually have more money in the bank when before any buys than uh, Godsend do. So, yeah, I mean, Elise just continuing, man. Continuing to do his thing. He, he's, he's looked good so far at the start of this game. Let's see what we get. Okay, maybe a B focus. I don't know if this will be a rush or if this is... It could be something quick. It could very well be something quick. No, okay, cool. Uh, it might still be something quick. Yeah, I think if they'd have gotten that entry, they would have gone quick off it. It's unfortunate, like, again, I like it because the, it, that is something we didn't see Liquid try the whole game against players, the whole T-side. So I like the different look anyway. Elise not been able to get involved in the round so far. 
let's keep an eye on our boy. Hinge smoke, of course. Mm, yep, good nade. This is rough. Yeah, that's just rough. That's a hard uh, angle. That's it's kind of a toin, uh, a toin, a coin toss, not a toin cost. It's kind of a coin toss that angle whether uh, you actually get anything done on it or not. If the if the AWP is there, if you like call it right and wide swing, maybe the AWP misses, maybe he doesn't. If you jiggle, maybe the AWP misses, maybe he doesn't. Um, without a flashbang, you can't really. Even with a flashbang, the AWP might just get the timing right on the shot. It's just one of those angles where you just have to kind of accept that if an AWP is on that angle, it's a bit of a 50-50. And more often than not, the AWP gets to fall back off that angle. Um, what is he? Six? No, that's OC. What's the leash? Seven. Wicked. Right, so Godsent actually doing well here. Like, they've kind of broken the liquid economy a little bit. Um, what's liquid losing bonus? Oh, it's fine. Yeah, the lost bonus is fine. I forgot that it was two and then four in a row. Um... So yeah, God sent kind of in the driver's seat now. Oh, they're giving up the entry. Uh, I don't think they're expecting the same thing. They weren't as coordinated in their peaks that time. That time they took the 1v1s, whereas before they, they fought together. Yeah, so this should be the round. Elise again, not, not really getting involved in this one. But he, he was basically uh, a large portion of the reason they were competitive slash winning at rounds earlier, so... Yeah, this one probably just to save from God sent. When you lose the B side cleanly like that, you just don't even bother. There's just no point. Yeah. And that is round. Oh, Alish has the long spawn. I'd actually be kind of surprised if he didn't go for something here. Yeah, I think they're just... Oh, they've also got a good B spawn, though. They're not going to go for the long. That's interesting. Oh, wow. Using a nade to try and get into palm here. There used to be a palm tree here on the map. That's why I call it palm. Um, I don't know what like most people call it. Hinge smoke incoming. And again, standard dust two rounds. I'll say this a lot, but this is a very standard dust two rounds. Somebody holding long doors control. Somebody holding B tunnels control. Everybody else is taking short control for the T's. This is just like, yeah. Yeah, absolutely boggo standard O round for the t side on dust two cts again set up pretty standard one dedicated long two towards a site slash ct two towards b yeah not much not much to say it's just standard at least defaulting getting that short control uh, liquid are now having a little chat about where they're going to finish basically that it's, it's going to be an a split um Let's see if Godsent can... So this is like... The winner of this type of round normally tells you a good gauge of the winner of the game because this is just a, 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 the bog standard D2 round. And yeah, Godsent are losing it. Their long hold is not good enough. Yeah. Their just long hold has fallen apart. So that's a really good gauge because that, like I say, is the standard dust 2 round. Whoever wins that type of round... It's a good gauge for who's going to have an advantage, at least on this half of the game. That was a little bit weird. The demo client kind of going a bit weird there. Oh, absolutely wrecked by Dumao, our boy. So, Elish having a bit of a lol in the game here. You know, this isn't this isn't where he's getting his the majority of his work done. But I'm sure my boy will come back and uh, and start fragging again. Uh, still topping the scoreboard. Still got good ADR. Just. There you go, guys, just so you can soak it up. But yeah, this is um, Liquid now in a good spot in the half. Godsent will be able to get a buy next. Their loss bonus is building. So Godsent probably okay economically, to be honest, once they've taken this one on the chin. And this round is probably already done with OC picking up the entry through middle. They are just going to recycle that scout. I'm surprised they're not still fighting. I'd probably just recycle that scout over and over in mid and look for the fights. And Elise has heard all the info here. He's going to kill this guy. Yeah, this is an easy frag. Yeah, this round is just going to be a formality. So Elise takes like a pretty important... Um, seems to be like a pretty important... like. 
player for Liquid on the T side. He's often at the front head of the spear. Um, often will be taking the first fights. Often taking important map control. He's given a lot of like uh, individual agency and responsibility. It seems like a liege on Liquid's T side, at least on Dust Two, uh, at least on these two Dust Two Dust Two POVs that I've watched. He's been, um, yeah, like I say, just a very very important player on their T side. He's often first, often taking out control on his own. My man, a liege. He's big dick in it. Yeah, and he, he kind of just, you know, wrecked wrecked that round. Bit of a, you know, eco eco warrior, but that's fine. Yeah, it's fine. You got, someone's got to get the eeks, okay? Right, they don't get themselves those frags. Oh, OC, just a fucking maniac. Mm, probably hard to tell how blind he was on his own screen, but probably should have got that frag liege, if I'm honest. Let's keep an eye on OC, because he seems to be the man tearing this round apart. Yep. Henny is all or nothing at car here, really. We've just got a lurker in tunnels. This is a really rough round for God's sake. Well, I mean, losing two anyway, but it's just one of those where, like, it's very unlikely they get anything done here. No, oh, Molly in car as well. Yeah. Yeah, Henny just in no man's land has to try and take a fight. Unless they throw this, this one is done. Oh, Doomhouse got himself into a decent spot. If uh, Liquid aren't kept, no, nah, they've they already, yeah, 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 they already know where he is. Cool. I was gonna say if Liquid weren't careful and didn't check their corners there, then maybe, yeah, well, maybe something can happen there. But it's uh, it was never likely. It was it was never likely. Right, so Liquid now firmly in control of this half. They will get up to seven and get in pole position to win the half. Uh, oh, we're still on OC. Back to my boy Elige, who is off to be again head of the spear. It doesn't look like they, yeah, they're taking the mid control. It doesn't look like they're interested in challenging B early. No A presence whatsoever early on in the round just yet from Liquid. Now, it seems like Naf is the uh, unfortunate guy who has to default outside of long doors a lot. Kind of boring <laughs> on Dust 2. Uh, oh, Elise set up for some, for some more eeks here, baby. Come on. Come on. Give my man Elise the eeks. He is the king of the castle. Oh, here it is. Grenade. There they are. Go on. Go on, Elise. Run him down. Run a man down in your Air Force Ones. Oh, nearly. Oh, no. And he gets his head ripped off by Taco. No. Uh, back to OC, because OC is the other guy getting, like, shit loads done on this half. So, God sent her in an okay spot here. I didn't see where... Uh... Oh, Nitro also died on short. Where did he die from a mid player? Don't know. Who's was asleep. <laughs> mm. And Liquid, you know, they clean it up. It's fine. OC is aware. Oh no, they're going long. Ooh, okay. Demal does actually get a kill. So they've the gods have done right on this. They've made it uh made it costly. But yeah, bomb's gonna go off. It's uh GG. Right, back on a liquid Elige. Right, same round it looks like Elige will go. Lower. Yep. Take the control. Taking it kind of for granted. Now, so Godsend have played a very, very passive CT side here. Um, I think too passive. The only thing they've really done is fought for long control. Haven't tried to push tunnel. Haven't really tried to push or fight mid. Haven't really tried to push or fight short. So I think Godsend's uh, approach on CT has been too passive here. I think you, you need to... You need to not allow the T's to take this much map control for granted for free with, like, minimal utility usage. Like, if you look at the utility, only Shox has really drained his utility particularly. Like, they uh, having this many nades and having this much map control, that is just not good enough, honestly. And now they've isolated Taco at Goose. They're probably going to do the same late out long. They haven't really struggled to take long liquid. 
Yeah, got... Ooh, Lato does get Nitro and then dies, yeah. One for one is okay, I guess, at long. It's not ideal. <laughs> Sick Molly Lish. Oh, oh. Oh, very unlucky. Probably should have won that fight. Probably should have got that kill. Uh, we'll go to OC. Yep, good job. Yeah, unlucky. And uh, Naf. Oh, Naf should have got that kill. Couple of whiffed frags there. Naf and uh, Elige both kind of, yeah. Naf and Elige both scuffing some kills they should probably get there. I'm not saying Naf should win that duel with the Orpa, but when Henny misses his first shot, Naf, uh, Elise should then kill him. Uh, talking about the Elise with Henny duel, sorry. Uh, yeah, once Elise, uh, Naf missed. Wow, I'm just fucking this up. You knew my point. I'm not going to repeat it again. Fucking dipshit. I'm the dipshit, not you guys. Okay, uh, I, here we go. This is what I wanted from Godsend. Okay, now we're actually seeing some aggression. This is what I wanted to see from Godsend. I wanted to see... There, see, look. You you have to do stuff like that on the CT side. Uh, that was probably Henny off his own back, but you need to utilize those gimmicks and you need to make the T's earn their map control and, and hesitant and at least expect to encounter some resistance. Or at least be aware of the fact they might. If they can just run up mid, run up short for free every round and get out long doors without too much of a fight every... Like, it's not good enough. Mid B split here quick. This is a really good call from Liquid to not slow the round down too much and to go for this mid B split. They've isolated... Yeah, they isolated the uh, the two players in B. That was exactly the right call to go for that. I know this is an Elise POV, but like while Elise is dead, I I might as well just demo review. And uh, Liquid are playing a pretty nice uh, T half here, to be honest. Yep, shots with a good luck. I'm only gonna look at Liquid players POVs, so I'll at least I'll at least stick to that. Uh, probably just looking for exits here, Godsend, and to save their two guns. Not gonna go too wild to try and get the retake happening. Shocks kills another one on the lurk. 3k for shocks. Nitro with a good entry. A good 4v5 there from Liquid. Uh, a good one. They isolated the B site and just went for it. Very um, very definitive and confident call there. I, I like this. this. This T side looks much better from Liquid. They are, I think, playing... I mean, players didn't really go for too many gimmicky CT plays of their own. But I think players were reading the Liquid offense very, very well in that um, other POV I did of Elish. Whereas I don't think God Sent are having a great time reading Liquid here. And Liquid have been a little bit more dynamic on their T side as well. I think if you're Liquid and you watch that player's demo, you probably realize how like standard and fucking easy to predict you were. Sorry, got to go back to our boy Elish. Oh, he's blind. He's blind as shit. This could be rough. This could be rough. Yep, you could just get stuck and headshot by the deagles here. Old deagles, that would be even scarier because like a couple of body shots Fs you up. And all those two deagles need to do is just spam down that little narrow corridor and they probably kill two of you. Um, with the new deagle, it's a little less scary. But I like a liquid just walking away from that. They've, uh, they've shown their presence. They've made me nervous. Hinge smoke straight into this. God, every time you see that hinge smoke, you know exactly what's happening. I think Liquid maybe need to use that hinge smoke a bit more. They don't really seem to use the hinge smoke and then not go up the short. Like, I don't know. I'd like I'd like to see them use the hinge smoke as like a false tell. Because at the moment, they've just hinge smoke and immediately jumped up Xbox every time. Just a small nuance. There's, no, there's nothing wrong with it per se. It's just something I've already noticed very quickly from watching this demo. Is that Liquid only ever throw that hinge smoke if they're jumping somebody up Xbox. So it's a, it's a really obvious tell. Henny's had kind of a rough day on the AWP today. He's not had any impact at all at long. Yeah, he's whiffing. He's having a Henny game where he whiffs a lot. Yeah, Henny's having, uh, Henny's having that kind of Henny game. Yeah, he, he took a few shots there. Again, the demo UI going a bit scuffed there.
Ooh, Demel. Elish. Just go and kill him. Stop being so scared. Just go and kill him. Good job. Good job. Right, so yeah, just uh, I've comfortably won this half. Uh, yeah, Godsend defense has been too static or whatever. Once Godsend realized that a bog standard dust to hold was not working, they needed to get gimmicky. Like that round where they put Henny in lower B early and he got the opening pick. They need to do more of that. They need to try and find the opening frag more. Uh, they've kind of just shrunk and shriveled up into their shell. And yeah, it's not, not been good enough. Oh, Elise, Jesus, yeah, yeah. Good job from Taco there to get aggressive through the smoke. Who the fuck? Nitro's going mad. Nitro's on a Mazzolini. Good job. Nitro, I like what I'm seeing. The aim's a bit scuffed. Yeah, the aim is a little bit scuffed, but it, it's working. It's doing the job it needs to do. Yeah, man, I like that from Nitro. Going uh, going very fast up short off of the long contact before Godsend get like settled and figure out what's going on. Godsend are saving for the second half. I don't know. This is a bit slow, guys. Come on. Come on. We need some we need some speed on this retake. No kit. Oh, yeah, Nitro in a one-and-done position, really. OC in an amazing position to finish this off. Why am I not looking at him? Uh, Dumao has no time. Yeah, what, what? Yeah, that retake was scuffed as hell. Why did they take so long? <laughs> I, I hate that. That's one of my absolute pet hates, is people in a clutch who don't put the bomb down. So let's say there's like six seconds left and they don't put the bomb down. That fucks me off. Give yourself a chance to win the clutch, at least, by putting the bomb down. Don't be like, I'm going to galaxy brain them and tap it with six seconds. Just fucking put the bomb down. And then there, when they when you retake, but you don't ever give yourself enough time on the retake. Like, what what's the fucking point? Why give yourself no chance to win the round? Just took way too long. That, that, shit, that shit is like a basic MM mistake, man. Just that retake taking too long. It's like, yes, I understand maybe you have to go a little bit faster than you'd like to, and it makes the retake a bit scuffed in of itself, having to go fast, but at least you have a chance of winning it. Whereas if you take your time, get everyone set up in the right positions and whatever, it's too late. 20 seconds has already run on that bomb timer, and you with no kit, you're never, you're never performing a miraculous 10-second retake in a 3v3 or whatever it was. Not never, but like, yeah. The expected value on that play is not good, let's put it that way. Here we are. We're in the half. I'm looking at Dumal for some reason. Back on the boy, Elise. So, yeah, this 16 kills has actually been, like, relatively unspectacular from Elise. It's just Liquid playing a good T side, and Elise is in some nice roles. Um, so, he's getting the frags. But, yeah, nothing similar to, to his other POV, though, when he had a bad game. It's like, he, again, he didn't do anything particularly atrocious in that game. There was one... Yeah, this is scuffed as hell. Wow. I think that this might be... Uh... Bit of an anti-strat, because there were three Liquid players on that angle ready to take that duel. I think Liquid might have seen some tendencies by Godsent on their T-side pistols on Dust2. It's also not too uncommon on T-side Dust2 to, to do this, to just end up going five slightly delayed long. Oh, come on, Lato. Come on, Lato. We're all getting bored here. Thank you. Just take, take, just, just take the jewel and die, bro. You're not clutching this. Right. Uh, let's see what we're going to get. Our oh, boy Elise on the early... Wow, three early M4s. That's very interesting. I guess if they suspect a full Glauk eco is incoming, then... You know, the M4s are a bit more sus, maybe, if they... Hmm. I don't know. I'm just not a fan of seeing that many rifles on the second round. I don't know about you guys. I don't mind one or two, but... I mean, I guess it's a bit different in matchmaking. Yeah, the guys are more likely to just int them. They're more likely to just fucking die and give over an M4 and lose the round. But uh, I'm just uh, adjusting. I got some... Oh! Oh! Oh, God. Technical difficulties. Technical difficulties. My ring light fell off. There we go. Fixed it.
It's all good. Yeah, this is... Sorry, I'm just chatting away because this is a bit of a boring round from Elyse's POV. Yep, yeah, they just read this quite well. Yeah, this is easy for Elyse. Yeah. Cool. There you go. That's that's why he uh, ends finishes this game with mad stats. He picks up a cheeky little ace. Yep. That's that's literally what elevates his score in this game from like a good score to like a, a wicked six score. Grabs a cheeky little eco. But honestly, this has just been like some very textbook counter strike from Elyse this game. Um, he's played all of his roles very very well on that T side. Like I say, was often taking map control on his own, was often kind of at the tip of the spear and uh, was very efficient, didn't die very much. Pretty much never died for free. It was that one time long he kind of died to free uh, for free to Taco, but that was just a weird, you know, Taco came barreling through the smoke like a madman. Uh, and I think Elyse's sound cues were a bit scuffed. So interested to see what position Elyse actually ends up playing because he was playing towards long and now he is... Uh like the mid B rotator maybe because he's got his rifle it might be weaponry based good opener though oh yeah swinging that dry was a bit sus a little bit sus on that one right we'll go to Elysia's M4 uh, NAF's M4 sorry no we won't we'll go to shocks surprised uh, Taco didn't swing off that he heard the gun drop I would have swung to try and punish shocks there Maybe it was because he was sat in the smoke. All right, let's just... Uh... Yep, speedy, this one is Taco going to get. Oh, by the way, I've, sc I've, I've you know, cut it on never going to Godsense POV. Yeah, no, no one's going to look for anything here. Back to Elyse, who's carrying. He's doing some good stuff. I like what I'm seeing. Oh, look at this dynamic as heck. He's going to go up short. I like it. Is he going to like, absolutely madman swing it? Yeah, he is. Bloody hellfire. Absolutely madman. Falls back. Yeah, so he knows that um, the next point of contact is lower. He's keeping an eye out for the boost. God sent a fully committed on this B hit here. Um, Almost a contact B. How is it going to get held? Not brilliantly. One for one. There you go. That's fine. They, he can go down here. Yeah, there you go. Naf has anchored that like a beauty. More than enough. You need to go two for two on that. And they went three for two. Perfect stuff. Oh, Elysia a little bit sleepy sleepy there. Not ideal. Ah, oh, Lick, we're going to make this retake work. Uh... The bomb is not down yet, so I would say the longer the bomb doesn't go down, the riskier this gets for uh, Godsend. A little bit of sleep on that peak as well, Nitro. Uh... Yeah, the bomb not going down is making Liquid a bit nervous, but Godsend are just sitting and waiting for Liquid to make a mistake. Liquid are doing well to not give it to them, although Nitro almost did give it to them there. So Godsend will probably lament the fact that they didn't make that work. I like Liquid not making any noise, but regrouping here. Now Godsend will be worried about tunnel. Oh, I see. There's no need to make that noise, bro. I like uh, Nitro and OC playing together here. I think it's the right call. And they're just going to go. Good for Nitro to get the initial kill. They're playing off each other nicely here. Well played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good retake from Liquid. Godsend will be lamenting the fact that they didn't kill Nitro on that peak from Tunnels. That was their chance. That was what they'd slowed down for, was for someone from Liquid to take a peek to get some info. Um, yeah, and Godsend didn't punish it. They'll be pretty disappointed about that because that would have been a pretty big chance for them to get back into the game, actually. It would have got them... Uh... It would have just netted them. If they'd have kept two rifles up, it would have netted them a buy, like a free round. Yeah, it just would have been a completely different looking half. Uh, back to Elyse, obviously. Oh, what are we going here? Oh, yeah. Now, this, see, this is the CT side I like to see. Just run up mid every now and then. Just just pick around and fuck it. Run up mid. Make Godsent nervous as heck. Godsent have got a weird default. They give up, like, all mid pressure on their default on this T side. They have a fucking weird T default on Dust 2. Like, this is such a weird default. They they put, like, two or three in tunnels. They have, like, two waiting outside long doors and Henny looking down mid. They they don't get into mid until quite late in the round. Like, they're still not in mid yet, and it's, like, almost a minute ten. 
And they're still, like, not actually in mid. They're just now getting into mid. Yeah, this is hella late. Very, very, very late. For, the, for them to even consider, like, actually contesting middle. And now they're getting in. Now they're getting up catwalk. Just a slightly weird default, I think. Not, not what I'm used to seeing. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Nothing was happening. It's fine that I wasn't looking at Allegiance POV. Nothing was happening. Uh, Liquid don't seem to have the read on this. It looks like they're expecting a heavy mid contest with the fact that they've got, I think, OC in CT, right? I'm just going to quickly check. Yeah, it looks like they're expecting a mid contest. Bartan is pretty far up short. They're going for a very delayed long Nitro. Mows it down. Yeah, Godsense T side has not looked good. Haven't seen much of it, obviously. But it's not filling me with confidence. Uh, Alish hasn't really had to do much uh, in this part portion of the half. Uh, since his ace, he's had to do bugger piss already. It's just been like Nitro and fucking... I mean, mainly Nitro doing the work. It's been a good game from Nitro. It's been good to see. He obviously had uh, his individual struggles when he first made the transition back from Valorant. But it, it actually looks like, you know, I don't think his aim is ever going to be like prime CSGO aim ever again. He's never going to be like a fucking nutty player individually. But... It looks like, you know, he can have those games where he, he does some, some lifting and he's he's not going to be a complete liability, hopefully, on the fragging front. Which I think, if Nitro can be not a liability on the fragging front, I'm all for it. I don't know where Elish plays on CT. He plays fucking everywhere. Liquid don't seem to have, like, a set set like set like CT positions. They seem to just, like, mix it up. Like, Elish has played towards long, he's played towards mid, he's run up short. It looks like he's more of an A to mid player. He's not the B anchor, that's for sure. That's uh, Naf is the B anchor, it seems. And it looks like Nitro's the long anchor. So it's going to be OC, Elige, and Shox who are going to be doing the other stuff. Where is Shox? Right? Shit, Shox is on B right now. Cool. Oh, they've actually gotten all the way up. Sure, but yeah, on this kind of round with pistols. Oh, bloody hell. Elige got kind of wrecked there. Alright, OC and Nitro are aim mapping a bit. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Go on, Nitro. Oh, get his head ripped off. All good. All good. It's all fine. Match point for Liquid. A little tea time out. Probably too little, too late, my boys. Bartan and Dumao have done stuff. Henny has had a fucking shocker. And Taco has had a shocker. Those two have got nothing done. Henny in particular, he got the AWP a few times on that CT half and did fuck all with it. Not as if he didn't have chances too. He was just not hitting shots. He's um, only just rejoined the team. So, you know, give him time to settle and whatnot. Oh, yeah, Leisure, I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Read this like pretty well, I think. Oh, he's going to get one. Yeah, there you go. Got Taco one for one. No chance of a refrag, although I guess OC was supposed to be there for a refrag, but they're keeping them contained. Minimal amount of control. The reason OC can do this so comfortably is because they've just fucking not contested mid, like, at all. God sent. They're, they're so late with their mid contest. Yeah. Good play from OC there. Really, really nice. That's some nice orping. Good awareness of the angles and, and how he has to play and just mechanically executed well. Henny gets an entry towards long, which is nice. Uh, OC is going to go contest middle here. Yeah, they're going to go 1-1-1. One, one, one. They're just going to split 1-B, one 1-mid, one 1-A. One Nitro is probably just going to hold that. Uh, Naf is such a fucking sick B anchor. Always gets one or two. He spotted Henny there, I think, OC. Potentially. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he didn't see him. And I'm wrong. Thought he did. Thought he'd seen him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think Naf is going to close this round out as the B anchor. Lato is looking for him. Henny. I think Henny and Lato should probably group up, but... Yeah, that position is so rough. <clears throat> Unless you know Naf is there. Hard position. Good game! So... <coughs> Um, yeah, just just wanted to show a game where Elige played well, got lots of frags after I obviously showed a game where he didn't play that well and didn't get very many frags. But I think actually, if anything, what both of these games kind of go to show is that you can have a game where statistically you look really poor and not play that badly. 
Um, I know Elish came on HLTV confirmed and said basically words to that effect that he felt like he didn't play that bad in the game versus players. It was just one of those where he just, you know, players played well. He, he was just getting unlucky a lot, which I agree. He was getting shot a lot on timings in the back and side of the head or whatever. Um, and yeah, it just goes to show you that, you know, stats aren't everything in Counter-Strike. You do have to watch the games and have a little look with the eye test as well. Obviously, stats, I think, are a little bit more reliable over a long period of time. I.e., if you look at a guy's stats from 100 maps, it's a lot more reliable than looking at one map's worth of stats. And yeah, that's basically all I wanted to do, guys. I hope Elise is happy that I did a good map. Good map, Elise. Many frags. Good wow. Especially, just watch how Elise played um, that T side, and I think it was pretty textbook. I think he, he played pretty pretty solid textbook Counter-Strike uh, on that T side. Took map control on his own a lot. Was the tip of the spear a lot. Was sensible and good in his use of timings. I Especially coming up short when they're sort of doing the four long one short thing. Uh, and rerouting his team back up short on that one round where they got the bomb down. Um, after the long attack had kind of stalled out. You know the drill, boys and girls. And anything in between. You know, I don't, if you identify as a squirrel, that's cool. You know, go get some nuts. Favorite? No, wait, favoriting's not a thing. Commenting is, though. Liking it is, though. Telling your friends about me, that's always a thing. And if you did not like the video, then you're probably shocks. Nine frags, ten... Come on. Look at...